Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm going to be doing a Megan Fox inspired look today. I have a couple of different pictures that I've looked up of her that I really liked her makeup and I noticed a few trends that she always seems to have in her makeup. So the pictures are on my blog if you guys want to see them. I'm not going for like any one of those looks. I kind of combined all uh, the different ones that I saw to create this look. So. I'm going to start off with a concealer under my eyes. This is MAC Pro Longwear in the color NW35. You want something that's going to lighten and brighten your under eye area to make it look lighter. I'm just going to put that on with a Samantha Chapman brush and you also want to cover your entire eyelid, especially if you have some discoloration there. That really helps to even out your skin before you put on the eyeshadows. Then to set that, I'm going to use Ben Nye's Banana Powder and a big powder puff just to set the concealer on top of my eyelids to act as a base for whatever I put on top. Then we're going to use Bamboo Eyeshadow by MAC. It's a really neutral color. I'm just putting that on as a nude base for my eyes, basically. Then we're going to use Arena Eyeshadow also by MAC. It is basically the same color as Bamboo but with a little bit of shine to lighten up the middle part of my eyelid. So you're going to apply that all over, but it really, really helps to brighten it up, as you guys can already tell. Then we're going to use Saddle Eyeshadow. It's such a good color for a medium brown color to help marry other colors together. And basically what I'm doing is I'm putting this into my crease as a very, very light crease color. Megan Fox never has any defined creases because her eye space is so limited, so that's what I'm going to kind of try to do here. Then we're going to go in with Mystery Eyeshadow, also by MAC. It's very similar to Brun. It's a dark brown. We're just going to do the outer V, but very, very lightly. With a very light hand and a blending brush, you don't want it to be too pigmented. After that, we're going to pick up color 328 by Inglot. It's one of my favorite eyeshadows, and we're going to use that as a brow bone highlight. Megan Fox never has a sparkly brow bone. She always has something matte or maybe satin, so you want something that's very natural. Then go with your favorite black eyeliner that's, you know, waterproof, it's not going to move. So I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 eyeliner in the color 0. You're going to do a very, very thin eyeliner line. Anybody who does not have much lid space should never do a thick, thick um, eyeliner line. Also, we're not going to go into the very inner corner tear duct. You're going to leave a small amount of space there. And then to soften it up, we're going to use a, an eyeshadow brush and just smudge out the line. For anybody who's looking at you, they shouldn't be able to tell that you're wearing eyeliner for this particular look. Any flat eyeshadow brush would do for this. Then we're going to use NARS eyeshadow in the color Galapagos. It's one of my favorite brown shimmery shadows. And you're going to go on top of that black eyeliner that we just blended out to soften it up. And then I'm going to use the same eyeliner as I did before to line my waterline. But again, I'm leaving that corner without anything in it. We're going to go back into NARS Galapagos and you're going to line your bottom lash line kind of smudge out the eyeliner that you put in with this eyeshadow. Then take a soft blending brush, kind of thicken up the under eye line and make sure that all the colors that you're wearing on your eyes kind of marry into each other. Then we're going back into that same color, Mystery, and lining the corners of our eyes with that. Then you're going to use that same matte highlight, 328 by Inglot, and we're going to do the inner corner of her eye. I've noticed with all of Megan Fox's looks, she has a very, very highlighted inner corner, which really matters for people with smaller eyes or eyes that aren't as open, which is like my type of eye. So definitely load that on. You can bring it down a bit lower if you'd like as well. Then I'm going to go back into that color saddle just to add some warmth to the crease. Again, you shouldn't be able to see a defined crease shape but you want to add some color there. Then put on your favorite primer. I'm going to be using NARS, or sorry, Tarte Recreate. It's silicone-free primer. It's really, really good for oily skin, and it photographs well. I'm going to go ahead and put that on all over my face. Make sure you really rub it on. Let it soak in for a little bit as well. I'm going to go in with my Burt's Bees lip balm and just put it on my lips. So that can soak in while we do the rest of our face. For foundation, I'm using Graftobian and Maron foundations. By Graftobian, I'm using Desert Sand. By Maron, I'm using uh, Dark One. And I'm mixing those two colors to create my color. So very roughly, with a foundation brush, we're going to go in and put it on our face. 
but I'm leaving the corners of my face without anything because we're going to go in with a darker color there. With this foundation brush, you are doing a very, very rough draft, so don't worry about making it look perfect. I know it looks like I'm going to wear so much foundation, but we're all going to blend it out. Then I'm taking the darkest color by Meron. I think it's like dark four, and I'm putting this on top of my forehead line. I'm contouring the side of my cheekbone, so if it helps to make a fish face, go ahead and do that. And again, this is very, very rough. I know it looks crazy, but it's going to look okay at the end. Then the most important thing here is that you want to go in with a damp beauty blender. Make sure it's damp. And we're going to buff out all of the harsh edges and different colors and kind of blend them together. The thing with the beauty blender also and cream foundation is that it really lightens up the effect of cream foundation. So it becomes so much lighter in coverage and it looks a lot more natural as well. Then I'm using Ben Nye's Banana Powder to powder my face. I really, really highly recommend this specific powder for this look because Megan Fox always powders her face a ton because she has oily skin and not the best skin to be honest. So a good amount of powder really helps take away the oil to keep you looking normal throughout the day. And this powder is not thick at all. So I put on a ton of it, but you'll see after some wear and tear that it kind of dissolves away. Then go in with your favorite bronzer. I'm using Matte's Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark. And we're going to go over all the darker areas of our face that we had contoured with the foundation. So the top of the hairline, side of the cheekbones, but you're not doing any heavy contouring at all. Because this is, you know, she never does a lot of contouring. She's got a very chiseled face as it is. And then I'm going to erase the color from my lips with Mac's uh, Lip Erase in the color Dim. And we're going to go in with a blush as well now. And this is Sin by NARS. And we're going to just plop this on the apples of our cheeks. She never goes really far back into her hairline. It's just kind of like color right on the apples, just like a little pop of color. Then we're using a highlighter that doesn't have much shimmer at all. It's Light Sweep by MAC. It's a pro product. It's a sculpting powder. And I'm going to put that just under my eyes to help brighten up that area and go a little bit onto my cheekbones, but not much. The reason for why this works is because it doesn't have shimmer. So if you're going to use a regular highlight, I would not use that under the eyes. Then we're going to go into Trace Gold, which is a blush by MAC. It's also like a highlight, and we're going to use that as our main highlight. Megan Fox doesn't highlight her face too, too much, so we're not going to go in with something cream-based or something that's going to give you a more highlighted effect. Then for our lips, we're going to use a paint by Ingla. I don't know the color because it won't come out, but it's a couple of shades darker than 25. We're going to put that all over your lips. And then, of course, it's time for brows. Use Lingering Eyebrow Pencil by MAC, and we're going to just color in our brows. She's got really textured, really thick, dark brows, and that's what you want to go for. And just the fact that it is textured, that's why I don't like to set this look with a brow set, like a gel or anything like that. You want to leave some texture to your normal eyebrows so it looks natural and normal. Then for your eyelashes, if you have fake eyelashes, you can go ahead and put that on. And if not, Megan Fox's eyelashes aren't long, but they're very separated. So I'm using Max Hot and Naughty for the first layer, and then I'm going to go in with Max uh, False Lashes Mascara for the bottom. Thanks for watching, guys. Here are a few pictures from the look.